Hey there, I'm Miska and welcome to Hitscan. I'm here today looking at a brand new patch, Valorant patch 1.02 with Ryan as well. Say hello. Hello, hello. It's here. And uh, yeah, we're going to be covering some of the different changes that have been here, but mostly going to be focusing on the, the balance changes, of course, because those are the ones that we haven't really gotten any preview of other than the Viper ones. So yeah, let's get to it. Most of the changes on Viper we know of before, but in case you didn't see those videos or hear the news, the first major change is that her toxic screen, her wall smoke ability, now burns through the walls. It doesn't go weird when it goes over buildings and stuff like that. You can pierce through anywhere on the map and it should work really well it means it's much more consistent and of course tomorrow we'll be able to show you all of these changes too including some map changes but we'll go over towards that in the later part of the video snake bite also has a debuff now it does the same amount of damage but when you stand in the snake bite which is her molotov ability you get a fragile debuff which increases the damage that you take and according to morello lasts a couple of seconds after you leave the snake bite too so it makes it a little bit stronger in a more unique way. And also, the only nerf really that Viper's got is that her poison orb activation cooldown has increased from 0.5 seconds to 6, which is a huge amount of time. And this is to do with how quickly Viper can activate her smoke, with one ways in particular that mean that she can't really be pushed. So bit of give and take but overall i think this is a lot of gift for viper right yeah i think the poison orb one is really interesting because that feels like a very high level type of play i mean i know that of course one ways happen in a lot of different games there's a lot of people out there that just love learning the different poison orb one ways and a lot of the soul barrels and things like that but changing that from 0.5 to 6 seconds that's a pretty big thing so if you fake a push and you get her to use that and then have it go on cooldown again because she runs out of toxin or whatever then yeah you got a pretty good opportunity after that where you won't have to deal with it for sure so i think it's cool that it adds another layer to sort of bait those pushes and stuff but overall this still feels like an overall buff i guess it's cool to see some changes going in both directions but yeah i don't know how strong the snake bite thing will be so yeah, just gonna have to wait and see on the snake bite part, but other than that, I like it. I like it a lot. There are more major changes within this patch, but that's really the only ones when it comes down to agents, jets, bladestorm now refreshes when she kills a phoenix who just ulted. Same with Reyna, she gets a soul orb if she kills an ult in phoenix. And Cyber's had a few uh, sort of more bug fixes, quality of life bits and pieces that you can't put a cyber cage uh, on a trap wire as an example. Just does more quality of life things. But what is interesting is smokes and I think this is more a nerf to brimstone than anybody else in particular. I'll read it out because it is a bit more complicated. Adjusted tuning around the screen effects when exiting and entering smokes. It's decreased the blind fall off value and it's decreased near sighted intensity. Just to read what the devs wrote, the previous tuning for smokes made it far too punishing for players to push through and take a calculated risk. Really encouraging them to be used as a powerful defensive stall tool Pushing for a smoke will still be risky, just a bit more reasonable. This obviously doesn't apply to Omen, right? Because he has see-through smokes. Jet smokes are really short in duration. Viper is, you know, getting buffed, so she's no problem. So I really think this is specifically to Brimstone's really cloudy, really opaque smokes, right? This is more attuned to a nerf to him, I feel, personally. Oh yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, one thing as well to, to consider is just what happens when you do run a lot of different controllers at once like he said and i think with brimstone you get that feeling more uh i guess amplified because he can put out three smokes at once and it means that as a defender if someone's executing an attack with brimstone you almost have to walk through a smoke at some point because you're just going to get locked in otherwise because well throwing three smokes out at once is pretty strong competitive mud is coming in this patch we spoke about that yesterday the new valorant top rank for valorant or whatever it would mean has been changed to Radiant, which I think is quite a cute name. It's not really, you know, edgy enough to be, oh yeah, I'm Radiant in, I'm Radiant in Valorant. Like, come on, <laughs> like, Immortal sounds much cooler. Some comments said that yesterday and I agree. Uh, there was a bit of a fix to the Bucky. Wasn't really a buff, but I wanted to go over it quickly. Here are the numbers on screen, but the most important thing is that there was an accidental discrepancy in movement and accuracy with the gun. They fixed this now so that running with the right click is significantly more inaccurate than walking or standing still, so the more you know. And also, I wanted to show a few pictures of the maps on screen, as all of the maps in game have had a few changes to uh, allow, I guess, the attacking team to clear angles a lot more straightforwardly. Yeah, it's just easing up a lot of those corners that feel very difficult to clear 
all in all, good stuff. There's actually a pretty good comparison of all of this that's coming up in the next patch from the Valorant KR channel. It doesn't have anything in English, everything's in Korean, but we do get a very good look at the map comparisons in particular. So I thought I'd play that over here just so you guys can see all of the changes. This is from a Korean video, so none of the changes are in English here, but I figured it would go well over this footage, and that way as well we probably won't have to make our own video on this covering the changes. But we will if there's some crazy cool spot or exploit or something, of course. Something interesting to mention that you can't already see here. But all in all, there's a quick comparison of all of the different spots that are being changed. Also, real quick, just in the middle of all of this, there have been some skin changes or updates or whatever you want to call it. We have a new bundle in the store. It's the Prism bundle that was featured in the beta. Definitely a favorite there. A lot of people liked all the different guns. I think it's got a cool selection. A good Phantom skin in there, of course. But on top of that new bundle and seeing all of that again in the store, we have some brand new skins that have kind of been data mined or scraped from the game in one way or the other and put on Twitter by uh, Floxe. Uh, you can check that out on twitter.com slash Floxe with three Ys. Another cool thing that was data mined by Floxe in this patch, you can find his Twitter in the description below. Definitely check him out if you haven't already. He data mined the words tournament mode as a feature. Now this doesn't mean it's going to be in a patch tomorrow, just as an FYI. We're probably going to see it way down the line if at all but this has got me pretty excited as somebody that really enjoys the esports scene but there's no more info so let's get back to the other data mine skins and uh, well it's the convex skins and uh, they're looking very white and green what do you what do you think about these ryan uh, do, you, do you like them do you like the selection of guns what, what do you reckon they'll be priced and such it's a good point on the types of guns. The Bulldog one's nice the sheriff too but i do kind of feel that these are kind of like the galeria skins where they're not going to be featured in the store as a bundle, it's just going to show up uh, on the bottom as options on a daily basis or bi-daily, whatever it is as they work. So they look okay, but I don't think I'm personally going to buy them. But if green's your thing, or you like using the Bulldog or the Sheriff quite a lot, then they're pretty nice for you, I think. But overall, decent. I'm curious to know what you guys think in the comments, but we still have more changes to go over in the patch notes. There is something pretty meaty in this patch right towards the bottom it might miss a lot of people by tagging has been a big complaint for valorant when you get hit by an enemy shot you've slowed down dramatically and that has been nerfed a little bit the effect on tagging on movement speed has been reduced the reduction before you'd be reduced 80 percent of your movement speed now it's down to 70 percent and for a wall bang you would be reduced 35 percent that's down to 25 percent they've also increased the time it takes to reach desired slow amount when tagged by 100%. I think this is probably the biggest change in there, and it's crazy that it's towards the bottom of this patch notes. Yeah, it's something that's been discussed so much as well. I feel like because a lot of people are also new to this type of mechanic, at least a lot of people coming from non-Counter-Strike shooters won't really be as familiar with it, and because of that, it just feels bad to get hit and get so slowed. And maybe this will be almost like a placebo thing, because these changes don't seem that huge on paper, but I'm looking forward to seeing what that feels like in game. Personally, I don't really have a problem with the way it is right now, but at the same time, it, it makes the game more fun and just feel better to play and makes people less ragey about the tagging, then all good. I'm looking forward to, to getting my hands on that for sure. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff in this patch though. I'm scrolling through the patch notes and uh, there's definitely too much for this video, uh, but definitely check out uh, all of the sort of summary and the rundown and super cuts of changes tomorrow, as we'll be able to do more direct comparisons between current patch and then the new patch. So yeah, anything else you want to cover? Only the surrender option. There's a bit more details on how that works. It's fairly straightforward. There's just a lot of quality of life fixes here or there, but there's some major changes. I'm excited to see what people think of Viper. Like I said, mentioned in a previous video, uh, we should have a pro player talking about Viper who plays it quite frequently to see what he thinks of the changes. So that's quite exciting. I'll uh, leave that there for now. But I'm really interested to see these tagging changes, honestly. There's a balance, I suppose. It can't be too arcadey with a tactical shooter like this. But hopefully this should ease up and make things a lot more forgiving, especially for newer players. Now that Ranked is coming out, which is also another really exciting thing to hit with this patch. For sure, Ranked's gonna be good. Looking forward to getting back into that. Maybe we'll focus some videos more around that as well so people can enjoy some content around how to improve and stay cool during Ranked once again because I'm sure we're gonna get back into those very try-hard and very intense moods once again uh, once that's back into the game. Uh, so yeah, gonna be good. Looking forward to all this. A little bit overwhelmed about the map changes but we'll break those down and uh, I think that's about it. 
I'm really curious to hear what you guys in the comments think about the Viper buffs, the Brimstone nerfs, if you consider them Brimstone nerfs like we do, like certainly to Smokes, and the tagging changes. Hope you have a good time in Rank tomorrow. We'll be sure to bring you all of the direct comparisons with all of the stuff in like Miska mentioned. So thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.